So hey Bob, we've got this new report that's uh, just come out about the Lockbit operation. Tell us more about that. Yeah, so um, a couple of weeks ago, uh, law enforcement collaborated uh, with multiple agencies to disrupt the Lockbit operations. Um, we also helped in some analysis of some of the files associated with that. And in our new report, we've looked at the after effect of that uh, disruption. So how successful it's actually been from the data we have so far. Yeah, there's a lot of really cool detail in this report. It's it's definitely worth a read. The the with these kinds of law enforcement disruptions in the past, uh, the attack groups tend to bounce back pretty quickly. How is that playing out this time? So it's different this time in a law enforcement self described as, as as a disruption as opposed to a takedown. Takedowns being traditionally seizing servers and so on in cases where they couldn't actually arrest the the actors. This time around, they threw almost everything that they can at actors. There is a sanctions. There was arrests of some actors in Poland and Ukraine. They seized the servers. They seized cryptography keys. They seized uh, cryptocurrency and many other elements to the overall um, operation as well. So the goal here from the law enforcement point was not to just temporarily disable the group, but to undermine their ability to continue doing business or that anybody would want to partner with them in the future. And it seems like at the same time Lockbit was not helping itself, they they were harming their own brand with other uh, criminals and, and their own affiliates. Yeah, so Lockbit recently had one or two issues with, as you said, their affiliates or partners where they've been accused of not actually paying the affiliates and partners in, in successful ransomware operations. And that led to them being banned from two of the largest criminal underground forums uh, today, both XSS and Exploit are the names of the forums, which when the law enforcement operation happened actually made it harder for them to defend themselves uh, because they didn't have a, a platform to broadcast their, their counter message. Yeah, that, that's, uh, that, that was very helpful timing for, uh, for the law enforcement operation. So, hey, Bob, how does this kind of threat research into criminal groups uh, help our customers? So it helps because, first of all, we try to make the Internet a safer place, and that doesn't just mean our customer base. But also when we collaborate with law enforcement, we are passing intelligence to them, but they in turn are passing some intelligence to us, which we can then use to influence protection and so on within our products earlier than we would have been able to otherwise. And ultimately that allows us then go beyond protecting our customer base to the wider internet um, as well, because between us collaborating, we can make an impact here. Well, hey, thank you, Bob. And I encourage everybody to read this report. It's a fascinating window into the aftermath of this lockbit disruption. Uh, appreciate your time today, Bob. Thank you very much, Eric.